Hello, I am Claire Smith and I will be presenting our poster today, Improving Hand Hygiene Through Swipe Sense Technology and Reporting Transparency. So uh, what basically inspired us to do this project is an estimated 2.5 million hospital acquired infections occur annually in the United States. These infections are associated with approximately 90,000 preventable deaths of patients and financial costs in excess of $4.5 billion annually. Deaths due to hospital acquired infections are usually attributed to suboptimal practices by healthcare workers, one in the most common being poor hand hygiene. There have been many initiatives throughout the world to not only uh, reduce hospital acquired infections and the costs associated with it, but also to promote proper hand hygiene. We aim to improve hand hygiene compliance rates for internal medicine and med medicine pediatric residents by providing compliance rates on a regular basis through the use of an electronic monitoring system known as SwipeSense between January 11th of 2021 and March 13th of 2021. If you're unaware, SwipeSense is a cloud-based uh, technology that monitors hand hygiene in and out of patient rooms by prescribers and different healthcare workers wearing a badge. And by wearing that badge, the badge is able to register when a patient or when a healthcare worker goes in and out of a patient room and does or does not wash their hands. Our intervention was to, again, email internal medicine and med peds residents or hand hygiene compliance rates twice monthly, highlighting the residents with the highest hand hygiene compliance rates. Our pre-intervention data collection period was September 15th of 2020 to January 10th of 2021. Our intervention was then implemented January 11th through March 15th of this year. We then compared compliance rates of our cohort before and after interventions. We compared the difference in compliance between the notified residents, our core cohort, meaning internal medicine and med peds residents, and unnotified residents during post-intervention periods, such as anesthesia, radiology, general surgery, and so forth. Normally dist distributed continuous variables were reported as means of standard deviation. A two-tailed t-test with an alpha level set at 0.05 was used to compare between the outcomes of these groups. The results of our data can be seen in these two run charts below. The mean compliance rates in the pre-intervention group was 51%, while the compliance rate in the post-intervention group was 53%. This means there was no difference between the groups identified in our monitored time period. As you can see in the run chart here, if you notice this red vertical bar, this is when we started sending out email notifications. So we feel that if we continued to monitor, that our intervention would likely lead to a reasonable difference with more data collection. The mean standard deviation compliance rate in the notified group was 52% while the compliance rate in the unnotified group was 44%. Again, there is no significant difference in the compliance rate between the groups. However, if you notice in our run chart, on the second run chart, um, you will see that the gray bars indicate internal medicine, med peds, uh, opportunities to utilize swipe sense meaning there are many, many more people who had the opportunity to utilize the swipe sense versus the yellow bars indicate the other residents who and opportunities to utilize swipe sense. So this tells us that many more internal medicine residents are wearing our badges correctly than other um, departments. And so this could be a reason to you know possibly skew our data 
SwipeSense, in our conclusion, SwipeSense is a promising technology to motivate hand hygiene adherence and decrease hospital-associated infections. However, providing hand hygiene compliance rates among internal medicine and med pediatric residents did not result in increased rates of hand hygiene in the time period observed. Limitations included timely and efficient distribution of the SwipeSense badges. This was primarily the reason why our pre-intervention data was data time period was so much longer than our intervention implemented pe time period. Technology difficulty within the cloud-based reporting system and bi-monthly emails were not automated in nature. This the meaning that I personally was sending out bi-monthly emails to the rest of the residents, the internal medicine and med peds residents. There's not currently a way for the swipe sense technology to just automatically send these results bi-monthly to each resident that wears a badge. In summary, we were able to establish a streamlined process to getting residents badges at the beginning of the resident year. So come this July, all current residents and new interns will get their badge as of July 1st, which will be a huge improvement from past years in which sometimes they don't get them until January or February. We were able to identify and troubleshoot and escalate many shortcomings of the cloud-based technology such that some residents' badges were not registering or, or, uh, or picking up data, even though the residents were utilizing them correctly. We are currently working with the SwipeSense team to provide all residents' transparency data on an automatic, regular basis in order to sustain transparency. So what this would do is it would eliminate the need for one of our team members to continue to email out other residents this data. Rather, the automated system would email out the data every two weeks, just as we do. I would like to thank Dr. Booz for her countless hours spent working to make SwipeSense and this project possible in effort to better the care of patients of St. Luke's Hospital. Thank you very much.